Hey guys, so uh, I want to do a do-it-yourself video for a beer line cleaning pump. Uh, basically this will be a pump that you can just hook to your liquid connects on your beer lines and just pump it and run your cleaner through your beer lines between kegs and also run sanitizer afterwards so that you can simply clean your beer lines without wasting your car, uh, CO2 and uh, get this done in a fairly quick and efficient manner. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a Flowmaster model 56HD. You're going to need a Firestone keg liquid post, uh, ball lock post. I'll post a link below for this one because there's a specific threading and spacing for the threads that you need and there are so many different types of Firestone posts out there. You're also going to need this LFA 176 adapter brass adapters you can find at Home Depot and some plumber's tape. So let's get started. First thing I want to do, actually let me back up for a second. You can find the Flowmaster at Home Depot and you can find the brass connector at Home Depot. I think I paid like three dollars for this and I paid like ten dollars for this I believe. Uh, I actually ordered this uh, liquid post online. So. so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the main screw on nozzle for this pump. And I noticed once you take the screw on nozzle off, the trigger really becomes useless, so you just be pumping your fluid through with just pumping by pumping it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take our brass adapter out. Let's get our plumber's tape out. We're gonna tape around the threads of the flow master. And you want to wrap the tape in the direction that you're going to thread on the brass piece. I'm trying to flatten out my tape here. This stuff is real flimsy stuff, so I'm going to kind of give it a, a wrap around. Just take off this excess. So we've got it on here. Now we're going to take our brass connector, screw it on. It'll go all the way down, just keep tightening it. If you get any resistance, don't worry. Just screw it all the way down. This is a 3 8 inch to 3 8 inch connection here. So, about as tight as you can get it. All right, that's all the way. Next, we're going to thread on our Firestone post, but we gotta put some more plumber's tape on. So I'm gonna pop off, pinch off some here. And wrap it around like so as well. Usually when I'm cleaning my beer lines, I always have to take the faucets off. This is supposed to help not have to do that anymore. So we'll see. Now I'm going to thread on my liquid ball lock post as far as I can. It's a 5 8 inch thread um, and I'm screw screwing it onto a 3 8 inch but it will go on. That's why you need the plumber's tape to fill in any gaps for leaks and as far as it'll go, but it does go on to a certain degree. So, now what I want to do is I want to take this and fill it with water and I'm going to test it on the kegerator system. So we'll go outside and do that next. Okay guys, uh, so what I've done is I've disconnected my liquid line from my uh, empty keg and it's time to clean the line. I'm just going to run plain water through this for now. I just want to demonstrate how this pump works. So I've got my cleaner or my will be cleaner just water right now I'm just going to simply connect the ball lock like so now I got to open up my tap so my tap is open I'm just going to give this a pump and it should flush the water just give it a, just keep pumping it while you flush your line like I said the trigger is going to be irrelevant because that one piece that you took off to replace um, <clears throat> it, I guess it, it did something, it pushed on something to use the trigger, but if you just pump, 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 you can, as you can see, we're cleaning our beer line. <laughs> this is great. I used to take my faucets off all the time to clean because I used to like have to disconnect my line below and above, but at the same time when you're cleaning, you're also cleaning all the inner parts of your ball lock uh, quick connect. 
And then you can, after you have ran your cleaner through, you know, it's still going just from those few pumps. You just let it run with cleaner till you empty it out. And then uh, use PBW or OxyClean, they both work, unscented OxyClean, I should say. Um, and then after that, rinse this out real good, fill it with some sanitizer, and just run it, run all the sanitizer through it till it's empty, I would say. But uh, yeah, it works great. You buy these, if you buy these online, they're like 50 something dollars. I think I spent maybe $24 building my own. But uh, like I said, I'll put a, a, a link down below uh, where you can get the uh, specific post for this. Cause they're, like I said, they come in different threadings and everything. And I did have a little bit of a leak. Um, I had a little bit of a leak around here still when I put this together. So what I did is I unscrewed this and I put more plumber's tape on there and then that stopped the leak. So if you're still getting leaks at your connections at all, just wrap it up with some more plumber's tape and that'll help stop the leaks. So anyways, I hope this was uh, something you guys can use out there. So uh, I didn't see any videos on this and it's not my idea. I don't want to take credit for this. This is something somebody else posted on homebrewtop.com, like I said. Um, but I, I didn't see any videos on it, so I figured I'd put a video together just demonstrating it. And uh, it works like a champ. So go out and make one if you're, if you're kegging. Cheers.